guys welcome to my channel in this series i'll be pugging or attempting to pug every dungeon in elder scrolls online at the end of the dungeon i'll give the group a score out of 10 which will be depending on their performance as either the tank or the dps give us a like comment and subscribe and tell me what you thought the group should have scored at the end okay let's see how this goes i wonder what dungeon it's going to be oh crypto hearts one Okay, not bad. Not my favourite dungeon, but it's okay. It's quick, actually. At least it's quick. And this is just a normal dungeon. So let's see who we get. The load times on this game are ridiculous. Okay, alright. We got a 402, an 810. And what was that? Another eight ten? Uh, six two six. Okay, actually, this should go rather well then. Let's see. Okay. So we've got this group of ads here. Right, is our tank actually a tank? Okay, tank is a tank. Always good to see. And okay, nice. Okay, good good DPS, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was quick. This is all normal, so it really shouldn't actually take too long. Okay, let's roll. I do like to go ahead sometimes in front of the tank just so I can debuff everything by the time he gets there and they can pull it together. Don't really have to do much of that. It's a normal so we should be going through this quite quickly, hopefully. Only way to tell it will be on this first boss. Well, this is a non-DLC dungeon, so even on that, this should be actually easy. Uh, they're still killing ads. Might as well just pull the ads to the boss, but I guess they want to do it separately. Okay, okay, now here we go. Yeah, this guy's going down quick. Am I going the right way? Yeah, it is this way. Have a quick look if there's any chests, any heavy sacks. Nope. Oh, a few ads. Let's not pull it yet. Oh, nope. Oh. I've only got one guy with me here. Actually, I've got two of them. Where's the tank? There he is. I don't really need him, actually. I'm pretty sure we could get through this without the tank. In fact, yeah, we could definitely get through this without the tank. Um, I don't think any of the bosses here need to be particularly taunted. To be honest, actually, I don't really need a healer for this as well. They could have done this. Um, they could have done this four DDs. This is easy. So, so far, so good with this team. But like I said, they're high levels. This is a normal dungeon. So, um, I don't expect any trouble. Saying that though, I've had high levels who probably only do like PvP and aren't used to dungeons struggle on normal dungeons, non-DLC dungeons, so. You never know until you get in there. Um, okay. I was going to give him a war horn, but I don't really need to. He's hopefully there. Let's do a quick look for a chest. Sometimes there's a chest or a heavy set over this side. I don't think there's one now. Nope. Okay, let's do.
Yeah, we speaking through this. Okay, I think I've gone a little bit too far ahead. Oh no, somebody's there. Okay, good. I've only got like four, four KPPS on my healer. So I'm really not going to be doing anything to these guys. To be they're killing them before I can even debuff them, so that's good. On to the second boss now. I've got these few ads. Nothing special. Um, the only thing I've seen for the, the um, tank is to literally just pull these ads to the boss. So it's, they're nothing special. So if you could just pull them all over, you could just kill them all in AoE, but so far so good. Okay, somebody bubbled in. Alright, let's give him a war horn. Wanna get out of that? Oh, okay, somebody didn't get out fast enough. He will fucking push you back with that bloody move. I also like the raw blood strap move because it will um stun you. He's gonna do that run move again. I was doing it in towards the wall. Okay, let's get all that fast. Yeah, that move still fucking stuns you sometimes. And he's gonna run. And he's almost dead. Anyways, boom. Not too bad. Let's have a look to see if. There's a chest in here. I think somebody's doing the quest, which is why I can see this guy. Uh, yeah, they are. Let's see, sometimes there's a chest over here. Not today. Okay. Right, if they're doing the main quest, we're probably going to have to do this boss as well. I normally skip the boss that's up here. But we're going to end up having to do it, no problem. There's a Colossus here. Sweet. Mm -mm -mm. No chest. Oh, I don't know if it's either. Wow, where are all the heavy sacks and chests? This is on this boss isn't particularly hard, it's got quite low HP anyways. Uh yeah, let's do the quest thing in here. There's some ads down at the bottom here and then I think it's a lot no, it's the second to last boss, but he's easy as well. There's a few more ads up here. Yeah, a few scamps. Oh no, Bannikin. They're easy enough to deal with. Quick look for chests. No, they're really not going to give me any chests in this run. Okay. Uh, this guy's got only about, oh, not even half a million. Okay, yeah, it should be down in a few seconds. And then it'll be on to the last boss, which is the twins. Alright. Oh, there's a chest. I do not have four slot on this, so yeah, this probably isn't gonna work. I'm really bad at lock picking. So 
this and this one to match as well. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. They didn't just rush in and start the boss without me. Nice. You know, overall, this project is doing quite well. I'm not complaining. Um, okay, and here are the twins. This is the last boss. I think we're just going to wait on the tank. He's coming in. Okay. Put some heal down, give him a war horn. Uh, normally with this boss, you want to take them down together. You don't want one's health to go down lower than the other, but I'm guessing we're probably going to end up just burning both of them. The tank is keeping them both together, so we should be able to burn them both at the same time. Uh, if one goes down before the other, the... I think the twin that's still alive will enrage, and you'll get some extra mechanics. That move normally on vet you'd get out of, but because it's all normal, it won't kill you. Uh, right, he's on 37. Where's the other guy? Oh, one's, yeah, one's going down. <laughs> one is going down quicker than the other. But, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Move this group and the game normal. Yep, there goes one. Right, here's the extra mechanic. Now that his twin is dead, it's going to be all that bloody lightning. Yep, he's not happy that we just, you know, killed his veteran and his brother from the room. So he's really pissed. I think his resistances go up as well, it'll make him a bit harder to kill. But that's no problem for this group. And there we go. All done. Oh yeah, and I got my event tickets as well. Heaven Shield, ooh, somebody would like that. I am not the tank, so I don't need that. But overall, pretty good, actually. That was quite simple, quite easy. I did the same dungeon um, yesterday, and it did not go as smoothly. So overall, this group gets eh, 9 out of 10. This tank could have pulled the ads in a bit, but apart from that, pretty good. Okay, guys, let me know what you thought about this pod group in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later.